Hi, this is KV, and this is the Moon Phase Report for Aries. So, Aries have something, that they more than anybody have something they have got to get off their shoulders. There's something that has got to be shared, to be spoken, to get out of secret, to um, get its way to the person who needs to hear this or something. Something needs to be spoken up about. Um, there's going to be a lot of like power in what this is that has to be said or shared or I mean gosh if if you're doing anything that's like um, a creative project like now is the time to really um, take that relaunch of it um, take it and really like okay you know what <laughs> I got this going on and I'm sharing it today when all these energies are really awesome so it's the next couple days but this is a really good time if you're not starting some new message sharing or just something that gets what you've got out to other people um, and affects them in any kind of way I mean this can be goods related too you know but it's like right now it's like um, it's just a great time to initiate something new like that that is sharing something that you got um, so like right now too should be an easier time for you to communicate clearly too in really getting your point across and a lot of the energies too are so much in the love factor now that you can really say it with peace like you can really say it and bring harmony um you can say something and people will really hear you that's something too like there's timings like that where we're heard in life or we're seen in life you know and it's like how i said on the main one i think i said something about like you know a person sharing spiritual wisdom is when they're in their 50s are going to be heard so much more than by someone who's a lot younger sharing it you know it's one of those things that like wisdom is having to walk paths and we look to the people who are older and you know and that's when most people's lives especially that are attracted to the way I talk and what I talk about, though a lot of those people, they, they come alive at 50. That's when things really happen and they're seen and they're recognized. So like, um, 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 something like that could be happening in you where it is like people can just all of a sudden see you and hear what you have to say. Like what you are sharing is like, oh, I'd like some of that. Oh, I'd like to hear more of what you have to say. So it's a good time for that. Um, it can be a good time for like getting clients, for getting people to really want what you have to share. Um, so there's that part of it too. It can also just be having to get something off your shoulder. So there's lots of sides of how this can manifest in your life. But so let's do moon, af moon affirmations for now. Um, I am speaking my truth. I am communicating in a way that brings peace. I am starting, I am initiating this new writing, creative message. Um, business um, with the world. I'm starting it now if uh, you're not really doing it because um, still the words count you know it's still the intention of it being on today. Um, um, I am getting my messages out. People are hearing me more and I love it. Um, yeah, so things like that, but make them completely particular to your situation. So, like, don't just take what I wrote, what I said, and just write it and think it's just going to manifest. Bada boom, you know, it's not really like that. It has to have the power behind it, the emotion behind it, the, the feeling behind it, the, 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 oh, I want that so bad. Oh, it's going to be so great when I have that thing, you know. So go into that feeling with each one of, like, you know, if it's a home, you know, if it's something like that, like just going through the rooms and thinking, what well, I want it to be like that. I want to have that too. You know, really like make the shopping list, you know, for what you want. But only like with the fast food thing, you're only going to ask for what you want, you know. Um, okay, so did I tell you about the fast food thing or did I tell the last one about that? I'm getting, I get confused if I do too many in a row and this is five. Um... So I probably didn't, but I'll talk about it more because it was, it was a really great analogy that I came up with. Um, okay, and I'm getting sleepy. Goodness, what happened? Um, so, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. All right, so let me hold on. Let me look at these because um, 
there's a lot to each one of these, so it takes me a minute to take in the planets. Okay. Okay, so this one is where um, there's an important piece of you being true to who you are and not having any problem with that. You know, like, this is me. Um, it kind of ties in with your career, so it's almost like, um, or how people see you. It's almost like something is needing to transform with how people see you. And, like, you just need to make it as true to you who, who, who you are. And maybe there's, like, something with you weren't, supposed to look like this, be like this, um, be gay, you know, something that's like, no, 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 I'm not supposed to do this, da, 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 but like you kind of breaking free um, with this thing, with honoring who you are and being like, dude, this is who I am, you know, what's it to you, you know, seriously, I don't get that one, what's it to you, I, but I have a Venus trine Uranus, which is the, the coolest aspect you can ever have in, in a chart, in my opinion. <laughs> And I have it coming from my first house, too. So my Venus is in the first house, trying my Uranus. It's beautiful. And my Venus is in Aquarius. I'm very proud of that one. But anyway, that's where in me, I, I think everybody should be as unique <clears throat> and do whatever they want. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, you be true to you. I don't see how anybody should not be exactly whatever they want to be. Like, my brain does not get that. My brain is about loving biracial, loving gay, loving being different, loving being unique, loving anything that's going to stand out from, I have to follow the line of what you're supposed to do. My mom told me you only do this, and my dad said you have to do that, you know, whatever. I don't care what my parents say I should do. Whatever. I'm going to do what I do. doesn't mean I don't love you. I'm going to do what I want to do. So you can see how I may have been a bit of a difficult... <laughs> A bit of a difficult one. Not really, though. But still, I'm going to be an individual. I'm very individual. Very. So, there could be something with you needing to honor something and just do it, you know, and be like, this is who I am. Y'all can deal. Because they will. They will deal and they'll get over it, <laughs> you know. That's the thing I discovered. Oh, they're over it in no time. So, I'm going to just keep doing them. Um, so, something with that. So, you know, us really kind of seeing you different, too. Like, you know, something you can change... There's even something maybe on the home front with relating to love in that it needs a dose of love. It needs to be seen a little differently. Um, maybe even communicating concerning something on the home front is going to bring this liberation that's going to maybe even have you, maybe you on the home front um, haven't been doing something that was honoring to who you are because you were trying to respect somebody else. But now you're realizing it's keeping you from being a clear representation of who you are, and you're going to have to say it, and you'll just do it with love, and the person will hear it. You know, so there's there's room for the doing it with love can like bring you anything right now. So it doesn't have to be like ah! and freak out. It's like you know what, you know, so go soft and da da da, and and then all these like really um, awesome things can happen, and you know, just kind of bringing more love even maybe even to a, in a childhood wound healing situation too like maybe it's something that like you're awakening to something that has really like damaged you more than you thought you know you didn't think it was a big deal and that makes me think too of you know I was thinking about um I was thinking about recently about sexual abuse and you know thinking about because so many people have to heal from that I know this one it's mainstream it's heartbreaking but it becomes less of a potent wound the more people talk about it and just share it but I realize that one's actually easier than the emotional abuse one you know the emotional abuse and and hearing um hi mama <clears throat> and hearing all the um negative things about you and hateful things about you and how you're never you're worthless and no one loves you and you're bad and you're ugly and you're or whatever those words they hurt and I was kind of thinking that's more of a wound than the sexual one and I know because I have them all but I didn't realize that I just realized that oh my gosh the words that's the really big one you know so that's the one that takes a lot of healing to you know, kind of erase that memory of hearing all those things that were so 
encouraging you to believe that you're worthless, you know, as a child, you know, so there could be something like that that's just coming to you of like, oh my gosh, and something about giving it a dose of love, something about just being like, dude, that is not a part of me, I don't get, you may have said that about me, but I will no longer carry the weight of believing that to be the truth in my body. And maybe even something like that can totally liberate you in some way so that it ripples out this effect of then people see you different in your profession. You know? So, um, so yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? So you'll probably be doing lots of writing right now and expressing even if it has to be private dialogue because if you are healing something with someone else they may not be able to be there with you on it they may not be able to hear it because for them to hear it they have to recognize their part in it and that might be too painful and we kind of have, for, have to forgive older generations for that honestly the reason they can't heal it is because they would have to look at it and it's too painful and they're not built in this lifetime now to have to deal with it um, coming in as a younger being now, yes, you have to deal with it. <laughs> but there are some older ones that are choosing that life. This, They're not having to go on these other levels that we are. So it, that's where we have to learn to forgive them because they can't look at it. They can't. We don't understand that, but it's not our thing to judge. Um, but uh, so you can dialogue with it on your own. You can play dialogue and have the whole healing thing go down. So there's ways to manipulate it a lot like that. See, manipulate is not the worst word. I know I've said it 50 times in this reading for everyone. I keep saying manipulate, but it's not a bad thing. <laughs> it's manipulating things that aren't good in our life so that we can feel like they're okay, so that we can function and manifest what we want in life without blocks holding us back. Okay, one more thing, and I'm done with the horoscopes. I'm so stoked. Um, so one thing is, um, yeah, and that's, this goes all along with that. So you are getting really serious about the transformation process and you are really awakening to things that are keeping you back, holding you back. Um, this will be a really big opportunity time. It's actually going to be years but um, you're lined up to do lots of soul searching, you know, and to gain a lot of wisdom and a lot of steps in acceleration in the healing process when you do embrace what shows up and what comes up out of you. So there will be lots of discord when you're needing to, um, excuse me, when you're needing to heal these things. So there will be lots of uncomfortable stuff but they're all going to be triggers and guideposts to you discovering these other things that are very depth related, very hidden in layers, very coming from childhood, very not obvious, very much taking intent, meditation, um, affirming that you want to heal. You know, and I've said that, like, I forgot to talk about this actually, but a couple of weeks ago with the energies, what I really got out of them is that they were putting us in these very uncomfortable positions, but each one was so ripe for a instantaneous healing. Like each one, we are supposed to be like, what is this? What am I supposed to learn from this? What they all felt really big to me, like they were look at this one, this one's important, what does this mean, and it feels so bad, what does this mean? So you're going to just have a lot of those, and you need to be positive with them, you know, you need to confront them and be like, okay, I feel like, uh, what is this, you know, get into the journal, get to writing, why am I feeling this, what do, I mean, dialoguing so that you, your guides can start speaking to you. Um, so that your intuition can get stronger because by saying why am I feeling this? Why do I feel so crappy? What, the, uh, what do I need to see in this? Why did I get triggered by that person? What does that mean? You know just kind of working through the counseling healing process that you're going to be in but um, it is to shift your life and it is to make you as more of a transformational person in the eyes of other people so it's cool and that you know right there is another 10 year process so or around that so over that time people will start seeing you differently and it will be able to um, see you as an authority and really feel like you can hold the wisdom that you know 
you know, kind of holding space for someone, like you really have walked it, seen it, done it, no. And that's why, you know, how I have so many people who get birth charts from me in their 20s and stuff, I then like am all about helping them wait. Yes, you're doing something really big, love. Yes, I see it. But it can't be fully walked and held in your body until you've really walked this for a while. And that's going to mean, you know, late 40s, 50s, you know, so this is a long process but each one of these steps is so important and right now the energies are so like completely lined up it's like it's like that rubik's cube like all of them are their colors <laughs> and it's like go they're all open they're all perfect they're all gateways open so they're in all areas of our life and yours is very much about healing your stuff right now um, and communicating um, really important things right now Okay, so I'm going to go. That's it. I'm done. I will see you in two weeks with the full moon. Have a beautiful new moon.